I do more in a day than a lot of people do in a month. And this is no BS. I'm a morning person, but for whatever reason, you know, tonight I was watching the Olympics with the family. I just couldn't go to sleep. Wife fell asleep around 10. I let her sleep for about 15, 20 minutes, get into a deep sleep. Then I get up. I'm down here in my studio, my office, and I'm getting work done. So I try to get the majority of my work done when, when nobody else is going to bother me. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning, this thing goes off. It goes off till seven or eight o'clock at night. Instagram DMs asking for help, just all kinds of stuff. My inner circle members, mastermind members, you know, everybody needs help. So I've got to be able to turn that off. So for me, I start by managing my calendar. I block off my calendar in five minute increments. And that is something that is super important to me so I can manage my time. The other thing is I am very, very deliberate in how I am going to execute. I've, I've learned from years of activity that was really inactive. And what I mean by that is, is just doing shit that's not moving the needle. One of the key things in my calendar is I block out eight to 9 a.m., noon to 1 p.m. and 4 to 5 p.m. That goes all the way back to when I had a regular schedule and an office pre-COVID, but I've kept that. And those are execution. They're designated for different things, but those are times that this goes on airplane mode, boom, turn it off, face down, notifications are off on my Mac, and literally I get into execution mode. So I've taken a page from Warren Buffett's book, and literally I will have my tasks list for the week, but I start every single day with one priority. And then inside of this bad boy, which is my Bill Faith Success Planner, this is not really available for sale at this point. I've had this for about seven years. We're actually actually redoing it for all of you guys and we'll make it available. But I take my top three priorities for the next day and I do this before I go to bed the night before. And this serves a multitude of purposes. Number one, it clears my head. So if I just keep everything inside, I usually sleep like shit. It offloads everything that I need to offload. So you can see my three daily priorities. You can see this here, my three daily priorities. And what's really critical is over here to the side, you can see I track a start and completion time. That is really critical to hold myself accountable because I don't want to turn a 45 minute task into an hour and a half task. That's one of the reasons I won't take calls during my execution time. And I take those three priorities and I will only write one in there at a time. So that's kind of taking a page out of Warren Buffett. He will take his tasks and he will literally write very a little pad of paper kind of similar to this, but smaller. And he'll write one priority, he'll keep his tasks over here, one priority right here. And then he'll flip that and put that inside of his coat pocket and only focus on one priority at a time. I learned from Brendan Bruchard in regards to the tracking of the individual execution of the time. So that keeps me personally accountable. As you can see, I will have other tasks. Once I've completed my three, and I typically will try to get those done in that first eight to 9 a.m., then I'll put my other tasks over here. One of the other things that most people don't do is they don't rate your day. So my biggest win today was, my biggest struggle today was, most of the time for me, my biggest struggle is just staying on time, to be honest with you. And then I rate my day over here, my daily rating. Uh, you can see my goal rating, my productivity, my discipline, my leadership, and my management. So that's a typical day of how I'm going to track and I complete everything for the setup happens the night before brain dump and I'm prepared. The other thing that I do once a quarter and I do for every one of my one on one coaching students is I require you to take seven days and track every single thing that you do from the time that you wake up till the time that you go to bed in one minute increments. And it is a pain in the arse. There is no question. But what you learn is literally what you are wasting time on. And so I do that once a quarter because we all get off track. It's impossible to just stay uber productive, you know, for 365 five days in a row. We're going to have good days. We're going to have bad days and then habits creep in, right? So that's another thing. So why do I book my calendar in five minute increments? Because I do a lot of phone calls and you can get a lot accomplished in five minutes. The other thing, and some of the people think being a dick or rude or whatever, when I do my first time coaching call, I'm like, give me the cliff notes version. I don't need your fucking story about anything. And I tell this to everybody, my wife hates it, but the reality is, is I don't have time. I need to serve as many people as I can. I need to stay on point and I need to execute quickly because one of the key critical elements for successful entrepreneurs is speed, speed and iteration, speed and failing, speed and, you know, moving on and completing your priority and moving to the next one. So I preface every single phone call, especially if it's a first time caller to let them know, hey, we have four and a half minutes. We have 29 minutes. If I'm doing a 30 minute call, I will tell them we have 29 minutes because by the time I get that out of my mouth, we're already literally 30 to 45 seconds in. But most importantly, as we get to within five minutes, I say, look, we've got three three minutes left on this call. So if you have super important things, let's bring them up right now and let's get them knocked out because inevitably that three minutes will turn into five. I never stay right on the timeline because then we're going to run over. And when you do 15 to 20 calls a day, like I do, you have to be consistent with that. So that is really important for you guys that are doing sales calls, closing calls, or coaching calls out there. You want to set the table. Just like I'm setting the table for my schedule on my daily planner. And you know, if I showed you this entire daily planner, you'll see I have a week in review and 
and next week's preview. So I'm prepping that on Fridays. If you know about mine and my wife's life plan, we meet every Friday and we are going over the successes and failures and our priorities and goals for the next week. And that's what goes into this plan. And that's typically what I do with this page is we review and we're reviewing ourselves personally, individually as professionals, and husband, as wife, and also as mom and dad. So we're holding ourselves accountability for all three of those aspects of our lives. And honestly, it's mom and dad first, husband, wife, second, and then business partners, third. We will go over it in that priority. That meeting is never missed. There are times that we are not together on Friday. We will do it the day that I get back because usually I'm the one that's traveling or we'll do it beforehand or we'll do a Zoom or a phone call on Friday, but it is just, it's not missed. It is that important for us. So the next thing about this is, is really prioritizing your priorities. Give them priority, right? Because not every task has the same amount of value to you or your clients or your family. So that prioritization of the individual priorities or the tasks that I need to get accomplished becomes critical. So for me, doing payroll and QuickBooks data entry and that type of stuff, that is just not something I'm ever going to do. So I never do it. That doesn't even come close to making its way onto my task list. I know that when I get into social media, which I have to do, I strictly, I always set a timer on my phone because it takes me longer than a lot of other people to do, especially if I'm creating content. I'm going to knock out two or three of these. Then I'm going to bed. My goal is to be done by midnight. I'm going to stay right on that 10 minutes. So the time tracking, the accountability, the five minute increments, planning out every single day to where you have execution time is absolutely critical. But unequivocally, the most important thing that allows me to crush everybody else is that I work when people are sleeping. So that way I can be more productive and effective and get shit done quickly. Hopefully this helps you. This is how I stay on point on track. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've literally garnered even one ounce of value. And most importantly, if you have questions, pop a comment down below and I will answer you personally. I'll see you guys on the next episode.